Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, come on in. No, it's nice and warm, it's like a bathtub. So no surprises. Yeah, just, okay, just good. Some more I'll make it simple. Okay. Do I stand forward? Yeah. Good evening. Tonight we have the privilege of uh, watching the angels in heaven rejoice and being a part of that rejoicing as uh, Kenji puts on the Lord Jesus Christ in the waters of baptism. And I want to tell you a little bit about Kenji because he's an answer to prayer. We were praying for God to bring us people and for us to find people. And Kenji had a little excitement and adventure in his life, and he was stopped by the police, and he, and he got a ticket. And he went to, uh, went to pay the ticket, and he found out he could do community service, and then he wouldn't have to pay the ticket if he could find a church where he could do community service. So he went to a bigger, more popular church in our community, and they told him, no, they didn't want him. And so he came here and he told the Lord, whichever church will accept me for community service, that's the church that I want to be a part of. That's going to be the church you want me in. I neglected to tell you, but for the past three years, Kenji has been on a quest to find God and to learn about God and to try to discover what God wants to do with his life. But he was very reluctant to go to any particular church because he knew that if he went there, they were going to teach him just their way, and he wanted to know God's way. And so he came to us and knocked on the door. Ricardo brought him in, and sure enough, Ricardo had some work for him. Praise God. So he was able to do his community service with us, and, uh, and he'd already made this promise to God, the church that takes me in for this community service is the church that I'm going to be a part of. So when I met Kenji, he was already telling me I'm going to be a part of this church. Kenji has been in a lot of very intense Bible studies with me, about sometimes three times a week, and often for three hours at a time or more. And he has a lot of questions. He's been really a serious, sincere seeker of God. And we got to the point where he needs to make a decision about baptism. And he delayed on that decision. He wanted to count the cost. He wanted to make sure he was doing the right thing. He wanted to review the scriptures. So yesterday I had a study with Kenji again, and at this study he seemed a little bit flat. He didn't seem to be as excited as he normally was. I really didn't find out the reason why until just this evening, a few minutes ago, and I did know part of it. I know that one of the reasons he wasn't able to get um, to finish our Bible study, really, is because he had to go home. One of the dogs was sick. Well, as it turns out, they have three dogs. I think they're family pets, right? And these three dogs had been probably poisoned. They got into radiator fluid. And yesterday, he watched the one dog die, the second dog died, and he was called away because the third dog was dying. And he told me when he got up to go take care of the dog thing, uh, the last dog to try to see how the dog was doing. He told me right then, he says, I want to be baptized tomorrow night. And I think this little encounter that he had with the frailty of life and how temporary life is and that death awaits us all kind of spurred him on a little bit to his need to get baptized into Christ, to have his sins washed away, to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, and to walk in newness of life. And I think that's why we're here tonight. Is that right, Kenji? Yes. So I'm going to ask you a few questions, Kenji, and uh, you guys are going to get to know him. He's a pretty unique guy. But I will tell you this, he's been the easiest guy I've ever done a Bible study with because he was always running ahead, wanting more and more, and, and having so many questions. And one of the things I learned very early on, that as soon as he learned something, he took possession of it, it was his. 
and you didn't have to keep telling him the same thing again and again. He was very eager to seek out the things of God. So my first question for you, Kenji. Uh, Kenji's full name is Kenji Ricardo Montoya. Kenji, who is Jesus to you? Perfect. He's perfection to me. Okay. Um, in, in a relational sense, who is Jesus to you? My Lord and Savior. Okay. Do you intend to repent, to turn from your sins and your life of sin and follow Jesus? Yes. Okay. Are you willing to forgive others as Jesus forgives you? Yes. Okay. Do you reject Satan and all of his lies and all of his deceptions? Yes. And if persecution should come, would you be willing to die for Christ rather than deny him? Yes. Okay. Turn this way, Ken Jay. Based on your uh, declaration and your statements here, I'm going to baptize you now in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. By the authority of Jesus Christ, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost.